What's going on everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it. Today, I kind of stayed more local. Uh, not the biggest weekend recap video, but still, some good stuff that I was surprised I found. Um, this is going to be like a quick video, like I said. Just going to show off a little bit of the cards in my local area. Uh, I went to the Sports Corner on Saturday, and I picked up these two bags of cards. I think it was about 60 bucks for all of these. So let's take a look at what exactly I got. So a lot of dollar cards, uh, you know, a couple dollar cards. There was one big card that I liked, so we'll show that in a second. But first one we have, make sure the camera's focused. Nick Lodolo. I was going through my collection and I'm reorganizing right now. You should see my card room; it's a mess. It's worse than last time. Uh, but he was a really good player who kind of went underneath my radar last season, so I was picking up a little bit of him. This is probably the biggest card that I got. We have a nice A.J. Brown. I know Eagles didn't win the Super Bowl, and that's fine, but that, don't take that away from him and his season he had. Nick, oh, no, Nick Lodolo. A.J. Brown, okay, from Phoenix. This is numbered out of 75. So I like the gold. He had out of 75, out of 299, out of 199, but the gold really stuck out to me. So I really, really like that. Had to get that gold. Very cool look. Yeah, I could have got all three for 30 bucks. Um, but you know, didn't really need that. I ended up also picking up these four tops Chrome update all-star game cards. So we got Jock Peterson, uh, Andreo, uh, Kirk, Alejandro Kirk, sorry, Alejandro Kirk, just waking up Ian Happ and then a PD Alonzo. So those are probably going to go to my set that I'm trying to put together. I have a lot of all-star game guys. Didn't know if I had those guys or not, but just want to make sure. They are not uh, easy to come by. I already have my Julio Rodriguez one. I was having this in my PC, but I, if I'm trying to put that set together, that has to go in there. And then I also have this bag. So on the cover, we have a Bill Cower rookie card. So, very cool. Steelers longtime coach. I, think, I don't know. He might. I think he's a Hall of Famer. He might have won Super Bowl, but very successful career. Did not see this card a lot, so that was cool. Our first rookie from 2023, we have Vaughn Grissom. Vaughn Grissom, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, one of those top 15 rookies from Series 1, so I saw that. I had to get that one. That one's also coming in another video. Um, we have this Lane Johnson, which is sneaky because you know Lane Johnson had a really good year for the Eagles as well. You know. Four-time Pro Bowler, four-time All-Pro player. He's just a great offensive lineman, and offensive linemen don't get a lot of cards. So this is his rookie from SP. I think he's also in tops, but this is his SP authentic. Chris Duarte for the Pacers. This is from Chronicles, but it is numbered out of 99. So 49 out of 99. So that's a very nice card. Had to get that one. Any numbered basketball I try to get. Uh, we have our Randy Rosarena. I thought I had more of him. I'm surprised I don't. I, I have to go track some down because I have his autograph somewhere. I have another autograph that I think I haven't sold yet, but I might have to keep that if I can't find my other ones. But I like this one. I think this one's from Update. I think this is Update Rookie. We have a Jose Alvarado. This is from Chronicles as well. Chronicles Donruss. And this is also numbered out of 149. One of those sneaky good players. Good defensive guy. We have a Jalen Green playbook. It has the 75th anniversary. I don't know if that comes on all the rookie cards or just you know, certain cards. If that makes it a short print or if it makes it a parallel. I'm not sure. But very cool anyways. Had to get that one. Another basketball player. We have Josh Giddy numbered out of 99. This is from Chronicles as well. I mean, Josh getting numbered cards. Try to get my hands on. Like I said, 60 bucks for all these cards. That's like, I don't know if I have like 10 cards here. $6 card. We have Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman Sterling. That's a nice one. But this is a very nice one too. This was $7 altogether. Uh, this is Bobby Witt Jr. Purple Parallel from Topps Chrome Update. So, didn't have this one. I had some space for my Bobby Witt cards. I should, you know, add to his PC. But I saw this one. I was like, that's a really nice card. So I had to get that. So that was all from the Sports Corner. Uh, great time going there. Always have new stuff. Make sure you guys check them out if you're in the 
southern tier area. So all these cards for 60 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Plus he let me go through some boxes he had in the back, which was like, I probably went through about 10,000, 15,000 cards, which was, you know, fun. Not anything that I picked up, but still, I went and I could have found something. I think the Lane Johnson came from the back, that collection. So I picked up one card out of 5,000. The next card shop I went to, Around the Horn, Cards and Collectibles. We talked about them all the time. Uh, I went there in, you know, in my free time and found, found some cool stuff. So he had some illusions. He had a Chris Alave illusions. Looking at that Chris Alave, there might be some damage on that card right there. So I'll have to take that look. Maybe take it out of the top loader. And then a w Garrett Wilson. So very nice Garrett Wilson for $1.50. Let's take a look. We got time. This is going to be a short video. Oh, yeah, that is on the card. It's like a dent, indent. I did not see that. I would not have bought that. Yeah, you can definitely see on the left side. Indent over the Chris on the A of the Alave at the bottom. Hmm. Well, oh, at the top, too. Top corner, top right. Did not look at that close enough. That's probably going to go to school with me. Give that away to some kids. They don't care. They don't care what it looks like. They just recognize the name. But... For I mean, for a dollar, I guess, but that's just unfortunate. So uh, I'll keep Garrett Wilson. It's a nice one. And I also picked up four hobby packs of Top Series 1. So we're looking for those big-name players. We're looking for Gunnar Henderson, Michael Harris, Adley Rushman, um, Oswaldo Cabrera, just to name a few. So this will be our first look. I don't know if I'll open up any retail of this. Hobby boxes for this near me are like 85 bucks. So not super expensive. I know... Series 1 doesn't tend to hold its value very much. I mean, once the complete sets come out, everything kind of drops. But we're looking for those rainbows. We're looking for those autos. These came from a brand new box, too. He just opened it in front of me. So no packs were taken out. So we have pretty good odds. We could try to find an autograph or a relic card. But definitely those big-name rookies. All right, let's look at our first pack of hobby. Looking at the design of the cards this year, very nice. I like them a lot. I love the face on the card. Uh, they are leaps and bounds from, I think, 2021 were awful. The smallest rookie symbol. Um, last year was an improvement, but this is awesome. I think this is a great design. So that is the front. This is the back. There's also some variations where it's like a gold flip, I think. Uh, I've, I've watched a couple of videos, but haven't really dug down deep into them. Our next card, we have a Wander Franco, who we were searching for, I think, last year. Last year, we tried to find a lot of Franco, so that's a nice one. Clayton Kershaw, Andrew Bantenny, our first rookie, Cal Mitchell, for the Pirates. Very cool. Scooble, Givens, Gavin Sheets. We have a Manuel... Margit. I know it's not how you pronounce that name. I've I've seen people with that last name and they say it way differently. We have a nice insert. One one two punch. Garrett Cole and Luis Severino. Jazz Chisholm, our uh, MLB the show cover boy. Very nice. I love these pictures, by the way. That's a great picture of him. What a personality. CJ Abrams, Mitch Haniger, and then a second rookie of David McKinnon. David McKinnon, so not bad, not bad. We're looking for those big four. Trying to enjoy this Sunday. I wish it was nicer. I went golfing last week because uh, it went to 60 degrees. Now we're back down in the 40s again, so got to wait a little longer. Edmund. Hey, Brett Batty from the Mets. He's a very good player. We'll sleeve that one up. I have some of these coming in because I bought them on Facebook. Some of these bigger name rookies, but that's a nice one. We have next, we have a Perez, Roberto Perez, Hosser, Cal, Raleigh. He was a really good player last year. Oh, hey, Riley Green, another great player from last year who was making his rookie debut this year. Awesome. But Riley Green, very nice. Nice cards to get. We have a gold, which was a rookie, of Trent Grissom. 
gold out of 2023. So we did get a numbered card. That's always nice. Don't know how many come in per hobby box. I might go back and get some more of these. Josh Smith, rookie. We have Ian Kenner. Kalefa. Another rookie. For the Red Sox, we have Josh. Oh, my goodness. Winkowski. We'll say Winkowski. Rookie card. Very cool. Seth Beer. And a JT Broodbaker. Very nice. So two solid rookies in that pack. All right. So two packs left. Let's see what we can get. Looking for an auto. I know it's not likely, but you never know. Gunnar Henderson. Let's try to pull him. I have not bought his card yet. Rainbow foils are also in this. I oh, we got something in there. Die cut maybe. Max Freed. Carlos Rendon. Duran. I don't know if he's a good rookie to be searching for. Uh, he's not on my radar, so maybe I have to go back through and look. Ryan Mountcastle. We have a Mark Apple. Mark Apple. Mark Appel. Might be Appel. It's probably Appel. But just to connect back to 2021 how bad it was that rookie symbol was at least like a third that it was like the smallest thing in the tiniest corner now it's nice and big uh, it's right next to the name and they had their face on there so very good i like the improvement a lot i can't get over that we have a stasi vogel batch oh geez that's not right david Villar, rookie card oh what do we got there what do we got we got something shiny we got something that looks Ooh, that's cool. Haven't seen one of those before. We have a playing card. Carlos Rendon. Ace. Angels. All the all aces. That's cool. It's a cool little insert. I like that. I can get with that. I can dig that. Feels like a playing card too. Nice and thick card stock. But that is awesome. Alright, Caleb Smith. Ryan McMahon. We have a triple all um AL. ERA leaders card, Verlander, Verlander, Cease, and uh, Manoa. So that's a fairly cool one. And then a Boston Red Sox team card. Very nice. So that was cool. That was a cool looking insert. I like that. I like that a lot. Which is a rookie. All right, one last pack. You know, and I might go down and get more packs. These were these were seven bucks a piece. Really good deal for a hobby pack. With a chance to get something like nice, I you know the uh, hobby boxes can go from you know, eighty-five to a hundred dollars, depending on your area. Um, I think the jumbo boxes range for about one thirty-five to one sixty, depending on where you live. But series one, don't I don't know. Usually, don't buy a lot of the flagship ones, just because tops the up not an update. The complete sets come out and they all go down in prices because they're in every single box. And they're in better condition because you can get those graded. Cody Clemens is our rookie card. Carlos Carrasco. We have a rookie of Matthew Liberador. Liber Liberator. <laughs> Anything sparkly? No. Corbin Burns. Hey, let's go! Gunnar Henderson, baby! Nice pull! That's what we were looking for. The number one prospect or rookie in this set. Awesome. Gunder Henderson, last pack magic. We're gonna sleeve that one up. I don't know, I don't know the odds of pulling that, but they have to be pretty low. Especially for four packs. I don't know how big the set list is, but series one, very nice. Gunner Henderson, the big rookie everyone's looking for in this set. So we got the top, we got you no know, three really great rookies, but that's the that's the guy. That's the guy. Let's keep going. Dean Kremer. Oh. Only it would be fitting that last year, you know, everyone was talking about Julio Rodriguez. Now this year I'm just talking about Gunnar Henderson. Uh he's in the same pack. So a nice gold cup card for him. Oh. Hey, and we got the autograph! Let's go! Was it one autograph per box and we get it? That's unbelievable. Let's go. Cade Cavelli. 
Kane Cavelli, rookie auto. We got the rookie card in the box. Uh, unbelievable. That never happens. Uh, and I might be freaking out for no reason. He might be a bum. I don't know. But hey, how rare is it to get four packs out of a hobby box and get the rookie auto? Uh, very nice. I'm going to sleep that one up too. Uh, and then we have the uh, wins leaders. Verlander, Manoa, Valdez. Yankees, Judge walks off into the 10th. Oh, if we can get Michael Harris in this too, I'm going to be, I'm going to be losing it. Arias, Josh Johnson, oh, and Trevor Story. Michael Harris is the um, landscape card instead of the portrait card. But how crazy is that? Last pack, we get the gunner and the auto. Forget about it. You know, I, you can't beat that. One auto per hobby box and we get it. Two big cards right there. So, wow, I turned that notch up to a good 10 for the last two cards. But hey, that's how we finish. You know, it's not how you start, it's how, you, how yeah, I butchered that. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's what I'm trying to say. But hey, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has an AZ Sports Cards. I will see you all next time.